now we are seeing the difference between negative and positive feedbacks if the input and output are out of phase 180 degrees phase is observed between the input and output then that type of feedback is called as negative feedback if there is no phase difference between the input and output then that type of feedback is called as positive feedback D, uh, negative feedback is also called as degenerative feedback positive feedback is called as regenerative feedback in the when in when we are applying the negative feedback the input is vs minus vf where vs is the source voltage vf is the feedback voltage if we are adding the feedback voltage to the source voltage then it is called as positive feedback negative feedback is also called as inverse feedback and positive feedback is also called as direct feedback in, in the negative feedback the gain will be decremented because we are subtracting the feedback voltage from the source voltage the gain will be decremented here the gain is increased here the noise is decreased so it will give a best output noise free output when we use the negative feedback when we use the positive feedback the noise levels increases distortion levels increases whereas in negative feedback the distortion decreases the bandwidth in the negative feedback decre increases whereas in positive feedback decreases stability of the negative feedback amplifier is very good whereas the stability of positive feedback amplifier is very poor it is the application of the negative feedback amplifier is amplifiers for amplifying the signals we use the positive feedback for oscillator okay in the positive feedback there are many disadvantages noise is high distortion is high stability is low bandwidth is low but only advantage is gain is high in the negative feedback we can observe many advantages noise is less distortion is less stability is very good bandwidth is high but the only disadvantage is gain is less